Well, okay, change of plans here. Um, I got in here, and I really do think that this is not bent, and I think the strut mount is not bent, and so if I were to just replace this lower control arm plate thing here, um, and the uh, sway bar link that was here, um, I would have a car that would drive straight. The thing is that I was hoping I could remove just this inner fender skin and get a new one of those. It's just welded, spot welded, and I started drilling out the spot welds and I just can't get it apart. And if I can't get it apart, then there's no place to mount the headlight, there's no place to mount the hood, there's no place for a fender, and so technically while well, it would drive, it technically probably be illegal too. We're gonna remove the drive, train, motor, the uh, inverter, charger, remove the battery. In uh, preparation for removing this stuff, I watched a couple of videos and I'm gonna link to it. First one was wonderful. It was a guy on his gravel driveway and it really it was a video that said if, if he could do it, anybody could do it. Um, and he, it was a great video, but lots of things not to do. Um, and then I watched another video about somebody who disassembled this drive unit into its components, who was very good. Um, I'm gonna take the middle road and try to show you a way to disassemble and remove this stuff. The point is that if I've never done it before and figure out how to do it safely, most people can do it. This is not gonna be a how to do it, um, because those already exist out there, but um, I'm gonna do some things and try to do Oh the things the first guy did But do them in a little safer manner and see if we can show how another way it could be done I'm gonna try to document as many mistakes as I can just so maybe you don't have to make them again Never really having done this before it took me all of ten minutes to get so I want to get this axle out so it's easier to get the uh, motor out and so you just take off these two bolts that hold this on this hold this on the strut and then there's this um, steering rack which has a has a nut which has a star has a star in the end of it I didn't even need that I hit it with the impact that came off um, I was going to take this off like I did on the other side then I realized that um, then I can't roll it around I think I'll be able to roll it on three wheels not just on two, so I only want to take this off. So, so the mistake that I made that I want to point out is that I cut off the um, clamps or bands that were around the CVs and because I thought I had to pull it out of this thing. But you don't need to because it'll just, when you take this giant nut, which is a 32 millimeter nut off the end of the axle, and you pull the hub back, um, you don't need to, you don't, the boot can stay on, and then you just yank this out of the transmission, and so you don't need to take these off, so it would have been more, if someone wanted to reuse these, a lot easier if I hadn't removed those. Now, you pretty much have to take them off, re-grease them, and put a band back on. Well, it's that time. Before I go any further, I gotta disconnect the 12 volt and the high voltage batteries, which just is like, the car's like, okay, let's go for a drive. And, and this is it, time to turn it off. It's like putting down that old lab. It's like, all right, let's go hunting. Nope, you only have two legs left. All right, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, before I start messing with anything that has an orange wire attached to it, I'm gonna um, disconnect the battery. It's, I think it just splits it in half. I've seen a couple of videos where people have had real difficulty getting this thing out. I'm gonna see if there's a, I'm gonna just take it out and see if there's a way to get it out. I've seen, you know, my favorite guy pry it out with a metal crowbar, which is not a great idea. I've got my my high voltage gloves on so we, uh, we should be safe let me just poke around on it and see if it's hard to get out in any way shape or form 
Okay, this is like one of those video adventure games. I figured out the first part. This white part has to come up, and so you might have to spread these two orange pieces right here apart because they're kind of clipped over that. I have a, a plastic pry bar that I'm using to push those out. So now I've gotten this into this position so that it's starting to come up and I can get it up a little bit. I see why they wanted to grab on with like a pry bar and pry that out because that's what I want to do, but I'm not going to do that. So it, it should lever on this white piece and slide around and unplug that. And I can't get it yet. I'm going to keep working on it. And when I do, um, we'll make a video. Well, I did get it off and I didn't film it, unfortunately. Now, I was wearing my high voltage gloves all the time and I kind of eventually gave up and I did use this pry bar to put it into so I could get it up to about this position right here. And then I stuck this pry bar in here. Now, I broke it all in the process, but what I think is happening is that where you can see this piece here would catch on. This was a, a lip here which broke off. So it would catch on that. So it would come up to right here and then it gets stuck on that. And so when I stuck my when I stuck my pry bar in there, I pulled this white piece back, which actually, let's see, it should it should work if you push this in. It should bring that out. And then it, it did come up, yeah, and then it came out real easily. So you don't need to pry it out, you just need to, once you get it up to that first position, push this white piece here, which should pull this back, which will then clear this piece here. Getting it out wasn't really difficult after that. Wow. I wish I could have filmed it for you, sorry. All right, now that the uh, pack is sort of disconnected from each side. I'm going to go underneath, pull that pan off, and disconnect the leads, um, the big, you know, battery cables that come out of the high voltage battery. All right, so here are those three connectors, the black one being, I think, the BMS um, control and monitoring, and then the orange ones, obviously, the high voltage ones, which should be inert at this point, but still got my gloves on and I'm going to try to disconnect those. Okay, I pulled that back. It's probably one up top. Uh, this isn't easy. I, I mean, it was obvious to me that this black thing, you have to pull this back and somehow this black sleeve slides back and I just couldn't get it back and so I, I broke it off. Obviously, there's something on top stuck. Jeez, okay. Let's look on top. Well, I don't know what it was. It doesn't look like there's anything that would necessarily catch it on the top. Eventually, it just muscled it off um, after breaking this black part off around it. <sighs> Not ideal, but um, I'm sure there's a more elegant way to do that. Uh, especially if you're going to reuse this cable so you can plug it back in again. You don't want to break that black thing off. So, shoot, don't do it like I did it. Now, still having trouble with this thing. I'll work on that. Alright, this one, this green piece has to slide back. Then I'm thinking that you'll be able to push this tab and unplug this. Well, um, I had to remove the green, the green piece all together, looks like this, and then I still couldn't get it out and I ended up breaking the orange tab that was in there off and then it slid off, all right? Great for me, I don't really care, but if you want to reuse these, obviously that's not the way you want to do it. Sorry, I wish I could tell you the right way to do it, but um, I couldn't even find anything on the internet. Uh, with someone else doing it with these plugs. I, it's something It's something along those lines. I mean, it should, that orange, here's what it looks like. And that orange 
piece would get caught right on there's a little notch here so you need to pull it back so you can clear that notch uh, you don't need to break it all the way off like I did and I sort of destroyed this too but you, you can see that inside there is a ring a ridge and then these prongs that are on the gray part catch onto that and I think well, I just pried them all back I think you could technically put it back in there but um, more or less destroyed it in the process so uh, that's something that you should figure out too is is this black disconnects from the gray the gray isn't supposed well shit maybe it does come out it came out now I don't know